One, two. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> you know, we don't want to blow ourselves up yet. We got, we got too much work to do. <laughs> we got too much work to do. <laughs> It'll never end. Okay. Even after you blow us up, you're going to be in the afterlife, and they're going to be like, well, I need you to paint some crap, Brian. <laughs> you have a deadline. You have all eternity to get it done, but you need to get it done quick. Yeah, but well, you got to get this one done by next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, it just changes the look of it, but it doesn't have to be, and there's demons and stuff in there you have to fight, but it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. You don't have to put more work into it than you would into designing like a goblin layer. Yeah. It's just everything's different and weird. And in some ways it's fun because you can be like, well, now I want to go to like, you know, a, a, some kind of, you know, futuristic dimension, or I mm-hmm. want to go to like a Cthulhu dimension, or I want to go to this. So whatever kind of monsters you find in the monster manual and you like them, you're like, oh, let's fight this. Yeah, you can just kind of put them anywhere. Yeah, you can just mm-hmm. teleport. Like, oh, well, now you're, the next key is in this reality. And so the way that I had set the book up for this is that, you know, in, at some point in your adventure, you put in the book, right? They, they find this book, and it's got a key with it. And when they turn the key of the book, um, in the book, it brings them to another dimension where the next key is. And then they have to go through and unlock all four. Or is there three or four? Yeah, there's four. Four. Yeah, they have to unlock all four, um, all four locks on the book, and then once they get the book open, uh, and each page is a different world dimension. Yeah, exactly. Gateway. Yeah. So like, I, the the vision I have is that like, as you're turning the page, you're like new like realities are flashing up in front of you, and you can kind of just pick which one you want to go into. Mm-hmm. And it's good to kind of, for your campaign to have it set up where, like, they need something crazy. They need to, like, go defeat the bad guys or whatever. And they need some kind of power to get that. Or they need something, they need to go somewhere or go back in time or whatever. Uh, And you can give them the book with the one key. And then they just follow through into these different realities. And the realities can be whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's just, like, you put the key in, you turn it, and then it brings you to the next reality. Yes. And it can be kind of a fun way you can scale your adventures, too, because you can do a thing where, like, um, because when they find the key and put it in the book and, and turn it... And we have keys, too. Oh, yeah, ben, yeah. why don't you show them the keys? Yeah, here's the keys. But when you find one of these things, you put it into the book and turn it, and then the power of the book will bring you to the next, to the next dungeon. And that allows you to do some fun stuff with your dungeons to where... They don't. The party doesn't need to get out. So you can be the. It can be a uh, like a fire dimension where like comets are coming down from the sky and destroying the earth. And like it, you've got five mm-hmm. minutes to like get this key and put it. In, it doesn't matter because the whole world's going to be destroyed. Yeah. Or you're being chased by this huge monster or this giant army and they're all trying to kill you. As soon as you you know break into the hell fortress, all the demons start teleporting in, and so you don't have to. You can put them under a lot of pressure and really make them feel like they have to run, 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 get this key, find it, figure it out where yeah. it is. And the book can kind of lead them, like can kind of hot cold them in the direction they need to go. So Yeah, it's a D&D version of run, low, low, run. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or hot potato. Yeah. You know, kind of a, Just got to go find, got to go find the key. And, um, and the, the book kind of guides you enough that the party... Your, your players that you're playing with aren't going to be like, well, this doesn't make any sense. It's like, no, the book's driving you. The book's teleporting you. You're mm-hmm. driving you to the next thing. Mm-hmm. And um, and then they've got to get it. And then when they turn the key, they turn the key just before the you know the ocean floods into the room or the monster shows up or the earth or is Or the destroyed. volcano blows up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do some really fun stuff with that. Uh, and... And yeah, we're going to get into some of that. We're going to drop some, maybe some cool worlds, some cool, yeah. cool planar stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we've got a couple other items that are associated with this. And we'll save those for... Uh, save those for the next video. For the next video. Uh, yeah. Um, you guys are going to have a great time with this. This is going to be just oodles of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say oodles? I okay. think so. <laughs> oh, and I had a... Yeah, I'll get into it on the next one. Okay, all right. We're going to see you guys on the next video, okay? Awesome. Thank you guys so much. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye.